ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Yes, Jim, I'm real sorry. But the express company just sent an order through that they can't be financially responsible for any more shipments that are lost. The sheriff's done his best, but... Yeah, I heard you were having Indian trouble, but I didn't know it was that serious. Well, three stages were held up last month. And those thief and redskin Paiutes made clean getaways every time, too. I always thought the Paiutes were a peaceful tribe. Oh, I wouldn't say it's the Paiutes as a whole that are doing the robbing. Just a few renegades, I expect. But what they've been getting away with is costing the express company a lot of money. Yeah, I see. But the Paiutes are no Paiutes. This money's got to get to that bank in Carsonville. It's to pay off the loan on my ranch. Of course. But you understand, in case of an Indian attack, the express company can't be held responsible. I understand. Huh. This sounds like the stage for Carsonville now. Right on time, too. Well, Jimmy, if you give me the money, I'll count it and make out a receipt. I think I'll take a ticket on that stage instead. I'll just ride along with the money myself. Well, that's up to you, but as a passenger, you know you'll have to pay full fare. Well, it's worth a lot more than the price of a ticket to see that this money gets to that bank. I'll get your ticket. Here you are, Jim. Well, gotta get the mail aboard. Howdy, Pete. Looks like you're right on schedule today. Yeah, making pretty good time, Mr. Mason. Where's Matt? Isn't he supposed to be riding shotgun to Carson Bill with you today? Yeah, I'm picking him up at the edge of town, Mr. Mason. Ah. Well, did you see any Paiutes along the way? Nope, there you one. Good. Well, that's good news, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like you'd be riding alone. Oh, I don't mind. Well, good luck. All right, Pete, take it away. Help! Come on, come on, Get away. Did you hear? It's plain as if we'd been in the room with you. Then you know what to do. Yeah. We'll take the back trail cut off. That'll give us plenty of time to get ready. Good. <laughs> Very good. We'll look the area over as soon as we've eaten, Tonto. Me, plenty hungry. We ride a long way to get here. I'm sorry we couldn't have made it before those last holdups. If reports too came us up, Indians to blame for holdups. What good two men against whole tribe? I never trust hearsay, Tonto. I want to check the facts for myself. You think reports not true? That's what I'm down here to find out. This territory won't be safe until those outlaws are captured. And that's why we camp near Stagecoach Road? Yes, Tonto. Since most of the holdups have taken place in this vicinity, We'll trail a few of the coaches, just in case those outlaws strike again. Oh, Come on, Brownie. Help! I just dragged a big log across the road and blocked it. And the stage can't drive around without stopping? Ah, uh, there's not a chance of it. Good. Shouldn't be long now. Hey, listen, Bart, don't you think Mason's overworking this Indian business? Army's liable to start investigating and find out it ain't Paiutes who are sticking up the stages. How are they going to find out it ain't engines? And these get-ups, nobody will recognize us. I uh, know, but there's... Still... Awkward worrying. As long as someone else is being blamed for the robberies, nobody will suspect us. And we're in the clear. Well, maybe you're right. Hey, the stage coming. Put our war paint back in the saddlebags. Is that brush get there? Wait a minute, I'll get it. Get ready to go into your eye. Come on. Paiute. Toto, gunfire. Come from north. Let's go. You, throw down gun. Sure, engine. Anything you say. Rifle, too. Got watch. Money I want. You dirty thieving redskin. Oh no, you don't. Get 
branch off road. You go fast. No look back. Sure, sure. Anything you say, Indian. Now go. No stop. <laughs> Money there? You bet it is. Good. Let's get off these Indian rigs and get out of here. You're forgetting their guns. Some smart sheriff might think it's strange Indians didn't take them with them. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Come on, let's go. I don't know what you're always so worried about. All right. Come on. Something's wrong, Tano. Stage is going too fast. Mister, the Paiutes just got through robbing us. I see your guard's been hurt. Yeah, he's dead. The murdering Paiutes shot my passenger, too. Mast, huh? More robbers. Well, there's nothing left to take. The Indians cleaned us out. Maybe I can do something to help you. You better come out here and sit down. Take it easy, fellow. I'll be all right. You might as well shove on. You just wasted your time and energy stopping us. Tato. You better bring one of our canteens. You're jumping to the wrong conclusion, mister. My Indian friend and I came to investigate some gunfire and offer help. Is the fellow hurt bad? Ah, uh, he's lucky. The bullet just grazed his shoulder. Lucky, huh? After I've been robbed of every cent that I've saved up? You say it was Indians who held you up? You bet it was Indians. Paiutes. Them sneaking redskins ambushed us back down the road. You are sure them Paiutes? Nobody could mistake them in their war paint. I see. <clears throat> the doctor should look at your passenger's wound. I don't think it's serious, but there's no sense in taking any unnecessary chances. You, uh, you mean we're free to go on to Carsonville? Why, certainly. The sooner you get there, the sooner the sheriff can round up a posse and go after the men who held you up. You'd better hurry. Sure, right away. Right away, mister. Well, I don't understand. Perhaps you will the next time we meet. All right, driver. Take her away. Help! Do you think it's Paiutes who hold up stage, Kimasaka? It's hard for me to believe that, Tato. The Paiutes respect the peace treaty they have signed. They're proud of their status as law-abiding people. And that's right, but drivers say him sure it's Paiutes who robbed him. Yes, he was quite positive. The driver also said they were ambushed back down the road. I think we should go there and look around. And maybe we can find trailer of Indian horses. Come on. Here, Tom. This looks like the scene of the holdup. Uh, marks and soft dirt show that big branch used to block road. Perhaps we can pick up the outlaw's trail. Uh, tracks show men go that way. Kimasami. We find tracks of horses used by men who rob stagecoach. These tracks were made by horses wearing shoes. Ah, but Indian horses not wear shoes. Tell I want you to ride to the Paiute camp. Find out from Lone Eagle if any of his braves have left his village to turn renegade. Then meet me back at our camp later. Uh, what you do now? I'm going to see the express agent in town. He may be able to give us some information. Uh, Let's go. Uh, who are you? My name wouldn't mean anything to you. But, but the mask. I have good reasons for concealing my identity. Oh, now, Paul, then. I didn't come here for gunplay. Well, then what did you come here for? I came to report the stage that Carsonville was held up and robbed. What? Your guard was killed and the passenger wounded. Oh, this is terrible. This is awful. I came here to find out if you could give me some help. Help you? 
I've heard reports that Indians have been holding up your stages. Yes. Do you think Paiutes are behind these attacks? Of course I do. I have eyewitness reports from passengers as well as my guards and drivers. White men could easily disguise themselves. What do you mean? I have reason to believe that Paiutes are not guilty of the attacks on the stages. Oh? Huh? What makes you think so? The men who attacked the stages today may have worn Paiute war paint and clothes. But I think they were white men. Have you any proof? No, no real proof. But I found hoof prints of their horses. What? Are you trying to say that from a hoof print of a horse you can tell whether a white man or an Indian's been riding it? Not exactly. But the horses ridden by the men who held up the stage today wore iron shoes. Indian horses aren't shod. Hey, that's true. Then you believe crooks are trying to blame their work on Indians? Do. The men behind these attacks must be found. Unless they're exposed, a serious Indian war may result. Mm. What you said is possible. I'll report this to the sheriff. He'll probably want to talk to you, too. Where can he find you? I'll be camped near the big gray rock on the stagecoach road to Carsonville. I know the place. I'll tell him. Thank you. Well, we're back safe and sound. And quite a bit richer, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the matter, boss? You look worried. I am. A man went out that back door just before you came in. He suspects it isn't Paiutes that are attacking the stages. And if he keeps on talking, he's going to start a lot of people thinking. Who is he? Someone wearing a mask. A mask? Yeah. And plenty handy with these guns, too. I don't think I'd like trading shots with him. What are we going to do? If he keeps checking up, he's bound to find out the truth. Yeah. He will if he's given the chance. But it's up to us to see that he doesn't get that chance. What do you mean, boss? I mean we've got to kill him and waste no time about it. I'll leave the horses here. I said he'd be behind those rocks. Yeah, come on and be quiet. We'd better get out of here. We'll make a run for the horses. Come on. Kimisabe, they may hit you. No, Tato. Thanks to Silver. Who men who tried to shoot you? I don't know. I didn't see their faces. Maybe them see masks and think you outlaw. It's possible, but I doubt it. Honest lawmen wouldn't have fired first without giving me a chance to surrender. Well, that too. Me get horses. We try to follow. No, Tato. If my suspicions are correct, we can locate them later. I want to hear what Lone Eagle had to say. Lone Eagle say no braves from his tribe rob stages. Him give his word as chief of all pirates. Lone Eagle's an honest man. His word is to be trusted. Tom, only one person beside yourself knew where I could be found. I talked with that man in town. Who that, Kimisabe? The express agent for the stage company. You think maybe him rob his own stages? I have no proof that will stand up in court. But there may be a way to get him to show his hand and get the proof we need. How we do that? I'll need a little gold dust first. You buy it with this. Uh, me go to Gold King Mine. It's not far from here. That's a good idea. The foreman's an old friend of ours, George Briggs. You can get it from him. Now, what do you do with gold dust? It's to be bait, Tallow. I'll put on a disguise and pay a little visit to the stage office. Fools, you stupid blundering fools! We couldn't help it, boss. Like we said, along came some of the and started pumping lead at us. We were caught in a crossfire. Now, now that you've bungled the job, we've got to be extra careful. We've got to... Howdy, gentlemen. Howdy, mister. What can I do for you? These men won't mind waiting. Uh, that might be fine of them. Thank you, Jens. Don't mention it. Well? They want a ticket on the stage to Carsonville. You take cost out of pouch. Yeah. Looks like you've done all right with your prospecting. Yeah, only do all right. Well, don't you think it's a bit dangerous for you to be carrying all this gold around with you? You know, you might be held up. What I got here, only sample. 
There are plenty more sacks like that, filled to the drawstrings in my shack near Red Canyon Mine. Here's your gold. And here's your ticket on the Carsonville stage. We'll be here tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. Uh, thank you, mister. Since this be last night in town, only have lots of celebrating to do. Have plenty fun. Well, thank you, mister. Goodbye, Jens. Well, it looks like Ed and I have another date with the Carsonville stage. No, Bart, no. I don't think we should risk that now. Not with that masked man around suspecting the truth. You mean we're not going to go after that gold? I didn't say that. I just think you and Ed should keep your Indian war paint in your saddlebags for a while. Oh, don't worry. I want that gold just as much as you two. But I think I know a safer way of getting it than attacking the stage again. How, boss? Well? You heard the sweet say he was spending the night in town celebrating, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the rest of the gold is in his shack. Near Red Canyon Mine. Don't worry, boss. We'll get that gold. There's nothing easier than robbing somebody when they're not at home. Come on, Ed. Men come, Kimasami? I only hope I've played my part well enough to make them believe there is gold there. But little risk of being caught. We'll leave the horses here just in case the sweep came back. Yeah. Attracted to gold as ants are to sugar. I found it. Well, they're full, too, just like the old man said. Yeah, come on, let's get out of here. The boss is waiting. Take him away, Toto. Come on. of two men we follow. Yes, Tano. That's the express office. Those men have done just as I hoped they would. Well, what we do? You find the sheriff. Tell him you think two men are holding up the express office. Tell him to come quickly. I'll see that no one leaves. Uh, me do. Well, looks like you two did all right this time. It was easy. Anybody see you? No, nope, no one was around. Good. Now, you get on down to the cafe. Let people see you. Just in case the sheriff starts checking up tomorrow on where people were tonight. Right. See you tomorrow, boys. I wouldn't do that, mister. I wish for that gun. What do you mean coming in and you're holding a gun on us? Where did you get those gold pouches? They're mine. I don't think they are. But if they are yours, of course you know what's in them. Sure I do. Gold dust. Sure it is. I'll show you. Sand. 
It's only sand. Stole those pouches from the cabin of a prospector. How would he yank them in? He vaunt the ticket on the stage to Carsonville. You. That's right. But who's going to take your word against mine? You have no proof. I know those Indian outfits your men have been using won't be hard to find. Take care of that, Mason. Looks like Kimasabe take care of other two. So these are the wigs and clothes they used when they were holding up the stages, eh? Ah, that's right. Me even find Paiute war paint in the saddlebags. Well, Sheriff, there'll be no more attacks on the stages to Carsonville now. I don't guess there will be since I got those murdering coyotes locked up in my jail, thanks to you and your Indian friend. But you know, I don't understand how you knew Mason was behind all these robberies. I suspected him after an attempt was made to ambush me. But I had no proof. Then you baited a trap with gold dust, huh? Yes, his greed was his undoing. Well, Tano and I must be on our way. I know you'll see that justice is done. You bet I will. And don't worry about the man that you wounded. The doc's gonna fix him up so he'll be able to stand trial with his friends. Good. Adios. Goodbye. So long. Say, I forgot to thank the masked man for helping me get my money back. He and his Indian friend never stay around long enough to let people thank him the way that they want to. I know, because I sure owe him a lot. Well, I'll always be grateful to him and that Indian. You're not the first one to say that about the masked man. He's the Lone Ranger. Hello, Silver! 